Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss about the numbering system used in computers that is binary and how do they use this binary numbering system for storing numbers in it. Let's get started. So for understanding the system used in computers, let us discuss about the common decimal numbering system most oftenly used by humans like us. So we very well know that decimal numbering system is the system which is used by most of the human beings like us. So it starts from 0 and it goes like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And then further after this particular number 9, what happens is it will be following the same order. It will start again from 0 and it will move till 9. But the only difference is we will be adding the next number that is 1 prefixed to it. That is we will start like 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And after this we will move to the next number and we will add the prefix of the next number that is 2 to the same order starting from 0 to 9. So you can clearly see so it goes on like this 202122 till 29 and further it will move to 3 and it will follow the same order. So in this order you can clearly see the numbers from 0 to 9 are common. The only difference is in the first starting stage we are not having any prefix that is prefix is 0 so we have neglected the prefix and in the next following number after the final number 9 the prefix is the next number that is 1 and after 1 9 that is 19 we are having a prefix that is 2 that is the next number so in an exponential manner the number goes on like this till infinity since this decimal numbering system has totally 10 possibilities starting from 0 to 9 for each order this decimal numbering system is also called as to the base 10 numbers so it is to the base 10 numbers because it is having 10 possibilities from 0 to 9 and further it will be incremented exponentially to the left prefixed number to 1 and it goes on like 2 3 4 5 etc so it is to the base 10 numbers so this number 10 may have also been derived from the number of fingers a human being has that is also 10. So it could be one possibility and since we have 10 fingers we will be able to count at a time at the max 10 numbers using our fingers. So the humans like us can recognize easily the decimal numbering system like this. And coming to the binary numbering system all these systems are representations not actually different kinds of numbers we are just representing one particular number in various numbering systems so here we represented the numbers in decimal numbering system starting from zero it goes on like this but here we are just going to represent the same number using the binary numbering system and similarly we have hexadecimal representation octal representation etc so that we will see later for now let us understand what is this binary numbering system and why they are most widely used in computers for storing numbers so this binary numbering system has majorly two states 0 or 1 so this is the only two possibilities available in this binary numbering system rather than 10 possibilities that we discussed in the decimal numbering system so a very good example for binary numbering system is a switch which will be having only two states on or off high or low 1 or 0 so let us discuss how we can represent decimal numbers using the binary format so we are just going to represent the same decimal number starting from 0 till some numbers in the binary format so 0 can be represented as 0 1 can be represented as 1 so as I said binary numbering system has only two possibilities zeros and ones so it has been exceeded you can see 0 is represented by 0 and 1 in decimal is represented by 1 in binary so after this we don't have any representation in binary so what we will do is for the number 2 in decimal it will be like 1 0 so we are prefixing the 1 
to the left as we did after nine in decimal numbering system we just added one to the prefix of the same order and we took the number to be one zero that is ten so in a similar manner after exceeding the maximum limit zero one in binary numbering system for the number two we are just going to add the number one prefix to the number zero so we are moving to the left so three can be represented as one one and after the one in the end four can be represented as one double zero and five can be represented as one zero one six is represented as one one zero seven is triple one eight is one double zero zero nine is one zero zero one ten is one zero one zero eleven is one zero double one twelve is one one zero zero thirteen is one one zero one so it goes on like this so since this binary numbering system has only two possibilities this binary numbering system is also called as to the base two numbers that is this binary numbers are also called as to the base two numbers and we very well know that the computers are made up of transistors not only a few or several transistors it is most widely made up of millions billions or even trillions of transistors so this transistors often has only two states one is the off and another one is on so like the binary format this transistors available in the computers also has only two states one is off another one is on or low or high so these are the two states of transistors available and now let us discuss why can't we use decimal numbering system in our computers for storing numbers so let's take an example that i want to store the number 8 in decimal as it is in my computer so as i mentioned computers uses transistors for storing numbers so for storing this number 8 i need 8 transistors to be turned on for storing this number 8 or for representing this number 8 in my computer and for storing the number 10 i need 10 other transistors to be turned on for representing this number 10 in my computer and if you take quite a large number like 10 lakh or 20 lakh i may need 10 lakh or 20 lakh transistors to be turned on for representing that single number in my computer so in this case if i use decimal numbering system in my computers for storing numbers the number of transistors is directly proportional to the number of value that you want to store in your computer. So this makes it difficult for the computers for using this decimal numbering systems in it. So this system is quite costlier as the number of transistors increases exponentially as the number of value increases. And now let us try to understand why we are using binary numbering system over the decimal numbering system in computers. So when we say we want to represent a particular number in binary format, we may need a particular amount of bits clubbed together, right? Because we know binary numbering system is nothing but 0 and 1s. So when you want to represent a number 0 or 1, we can directly do that with the help of one single transistor. But if you take a particular value like 15, 16, 20 or any other number, we may need a particular amount of transistors clubbed together for representing that number. So this clubbing of transistors may define the resolution of the computer based on the number of transistors clubbed together to form or for representing a particular number in that computer. So those resolution may vary based on 8 bits, 16 bits, 32 bits, 64 bits, etc. So, so a computer may be of 8 bits resolution, 16 bits resolution, 32 bit resolution, 64 bit resolution, whatever it may be. But based on this resolution only, the computer is capable of storing a single number or capable of processing a single number so this defines the maximum and minimum resolution of the computer or the capacity of the computer for storing numbers so this 8 and 16 bits are older computers and now you can see 32 and 64 bits computers coming in our modern days 
and let's take the example of simplest form of computer that is 8 bit computer for understanding how they are storing numbers in binary. So I am taking 8 transistors and initially all are having 0 as a state that is all the transistor are in low state. So the value is 0000000. 000 000 000 000 000. So let's take the same example that I want to represent or store the number 8 using this particular space of 8 bit computer. So if I turn on fourth transistors from the right that single transistor will write the value 8 in that memory. So the number 8 will be successfully stored in this memory space inside the computer. So we very well know 8 is nothing but 1000 in binary. So for representing this number 8, I can write 0000, 000 for representing this number. And if you take another number that is the same number 10, if I want to store this number, you can see I can directly write 0000, 1010 for representing the number 10. So if I turn on the second and fourth transistor from right, it may represent the number 10 in my computer and if I want to represent the number 15 I just want to turn on the four transistors from right. So this make make my value to be 15 stored in that memory. So this is how the number 15 will be stored and if I turn on all the eight transistor as a whole this may represent the number 255 in decimal. A 8 bit computer at the max can store up to 256 decimal values or it can represent 256 decimal value that is nothing but 2 to the power 8 value. So 256 values means it will be storing numbers from 0 to 255 the total values is 256 values. So from this you can observe clearly that a simplest 8 bit computer can store numbers from 0 to 255 at a time in a memory using only 8 bit space. And if you take a 16 bit computer, it will be having a whole of 16 bits of transistors clubbed together to form a particular number. So this at the max can store numbers between 0 to 65535. So if all the transistors are on, that means the number is 65535. So the maximum value that can be stored is 65535 and the minimum value that can be stored is 0 in 16 bit computer. So this is the resolution of 16 bit computers and if you take the 32 bit computer it will be having values up to 2 to the power 32 that is minimum value that can be stored in a single memory space is 0 and maximum value is 42949672295 and if you take the 64 bit computer it will be capable of storing maximum number of 2 to the power 64 in one memory space and minimum number to be 0 in memory space. So this is the resolution of different computers in binary. If it is an 8 bit computer it can store values between 0 to 255 and if it is a 16 bit computer it can store values between 0 to 65535 and if it is 32 bit computer it may store values from 0 to 2 to the power 32. And if it is a 64 bit computer, it may store values between 0 to 2 to the power 64 in one memory space. So you can see the difference. If it is an 8 bit, it can process data from 0 to 255 at a time. If it is a 16 bit computer, it may process data from 0 to 65535 at a time. This is the major difference between resolution of each computers that you are using. So I hope you understood why binary is used in computers for storing numbers and how they are processed as a whole as 8 bit, 16 bit, 32 bit, 64 bit etc inside the CPU. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.